10 to 8 on Monday morning and today I'm going to go drop Stephanie off at school head over to a place called Temple Newsome. for a meeting so we're here at Temple Newsome. there's some big grounds so I just had to drive up the sort of long tree lined avenue here Go into the, into the house for a meeting. So this is there's been the property here since doomsday times. Uh, different forms, but most recent forms I think is bits of 15th century, 16th century, 17th century, 18th century. One like that. extended and rebuilt and all that different times. This is like a courtyard that goes into some farm buildings and things. There's like a farm down there, farm animals and all that. They have lots of events here. We have all the grounds here. I'm going to go in in a second, but I'm just going to look outside first. Like this. Have a look at this, yeah. Or just wander around and get lost. <laughs> Have a look at the nice painting. Yeah. What a place to have a meeting, eh? Incredible. Yeah. A bit dark, so you know, it must be probably shut in there. So I haven't got a lot. I think I can wander around the whole house because there might be alarm door switched off. We've just got this event here. That's sort of barriered off there. Those sort of blue lights, where if you put a candle or something in there, and it shines like a blue light in these windows. Yeah. Oh, well, I've got access to some of it anyway. Basically, on about the, the sale of a house for a nominal fee in 1922 to the to the city of Leeds. So that's why Leeds City Council run this place. All right, so yeah, that's all the lights are off and stuff. Costumes. Right? Three floors.
just been in that door there. So it's um, just after two o'clock. See there's a large area of land here. I've got probably about 20 minutes before I need to set off to go and pick Stephanie up. So I'll just have a little bit of a wander around, I think. We'll have a little wander around down here. So it's all shut on a Monday to the public, all the different parts of it. It's like the farm and the, the house and things. Uh, but yeah. Glory and praise be given to God, the Father and the Holy Ghost. And peace peace on earth, goodwill towards men, honour, true allegiance to our gracious King, loving affection amongst subjects, health and plenty be, with the, plenty be within this house. It's quite a big sight really. Excite. Red kite up there. We get them above our house all the time though anyway. The south wing was entirely rebuilt by Francis Shepherd, by Countess Irwin, the relict of Charles IX, by Count Irwin in the year 1796. So here we've got a little formal garden. With, uh, box hedges. Which need a little bit of a trim, I think. You can see a water feature here, which is for the fenced off. In a minute. Yeah, so the history of the house is um, remarkable, sort of thousand year history been built and rebuilt and that over time and the land holdings and stuff. The Knights Templar had it for about 150 years from about 1155 to 1305 or something like that. Uh, but it's had a long ownership of like people passing down you know one generation the next things like that um, including you know uh, the husband who you know who married um, the Queen of Scotland and things like that. Uh, and also like forced takeovers and things where the the monarch sort of took it over and then give it to somebody else and things like this. Um, all sorts of different history to it. It's a big place. Uh, and then more recently things like mines which were blot on the landscape and then the uh, the city as well set by um, also taking off I compulsory purchase some of the land to make a sewage treatment works as well. It's not here, it's like a long way away because the land owning is massive. Um, so all sorts of things like that in the past. And then during the wars, both wars, it was used uh, partly as a hospital. And then uh, uh, they also moved some things from Leeds City Art Gallery into here for storage during the wars because the city might get hit, but they thought that this wouldn't, for example with bombs so yeah a lot, you know tremendous amount of detailed history and of course because it's a landed estate like this it's all um, recorded pretty well in terms of who owned it each from each generation each year to the next and things like that so yeah so this i think heads out and across the fields and so forth down here i don't know 